Alright, let me see. Get Google Chrome up in here. Bum 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 bum. Ba bum 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 bum. Kioni, congrats on 16 episodes deep. I know, right? Thank you, thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you, appreciate it. Podcast is the one thing I can do with a limited amount of time rather than editing videos because that takes way more time than doing a podcast. <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't been able to put a video out in the past, uh, past couple of uh, weeks. And we're just going to scoot this over. Scoot that right over. Bum, 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 bum. What are you talking about? Hey, this sorry guy, about that. This guy I, just I came in. Oh, duh. I don't have notifications on. I don't. I I think streamer mode means I don't hear who enters or leaves the Discord. I'm here. Oh, All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry about that. I had to help my mom with something. No, yeah. no worries. I'll help you with something. Right. Yeah, dude, your your mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that was a distasteful joke. It really hurt <laughs> my emotions. Your emotions, you say? Wow, that's really like hurt. what we're gonna be talking about today. Really great segue, dude. This guy, this guy jumps into the podcast channel and immediately, like, immediately, just gets straight to the point, dude. <laughs> Just kicks oh. off the podcast without you. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. Don't ever do that. Uh, <laughs> Overstepping your bear. <laughs> you don't ever do that again, or you're off the podcast. What the, Dude, are we you know, yeah, we are. You you kind of make me angry. Oh ho, oh ho ho! Is that an emotion, guys? That's go <laughs> disgusting. Hey, go on. Go on. All right. Thank you for those who have been oh, waiting with us. Uh, we've been live for about a couple minutes. Now. You guys got to tell me if the podcast goes down or whatever. You can, okay? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> episode 16 of the Neon Podcast. And, man, that, that makes me, just like Kevin said, that makes me real emotional, man. Damn, we're already 16? Yeah, I know. The AMA doesn't even count as an episode either, so that would it would have been seventeen, but the AMA is not a podcast. That's just the AMA. It's just a chill. So yeah, yeah. all right. So here we are. Let's, hold on, let's scoot these pictures over some more. There, it's bothering me. All right, and then I'm joined today by two beautiful gentlemen, two and to my left and to my right of the photos that you see on screen. If you don't know me, I'm that guy in the middle right there. I'm Neuron. I am Neon Gaming. Penalba, welcome to the podcast. Like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching on YouTube. Thanks for supporting. And we're going to go go ahead and introduce the man who's been on almost every single podcast, I believe. Throw it over to the man on the left picture. This man right here. Whose man is this? It's me. It's, it's Mario? Is it is it, is it Mario? <laughs> it's me. Hi guys, I'm Cam. I've been in all of the podcasts. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm in yeah. all the podcasts. What's up? Cool. And then to the right, the the man, the beautiful man in the photo to the right, is I think it's like his third, fourth, third or fourth podcast. I want to say fourth. Uh, one either one of those is a. Or maybe maybe even fifth, fourth or fifth, is uh introduce yourself, my good man. Sup, I'm Neil, or as uh, other people know me, Omega Sun XC3 from uh, CSULB's Overwatch team. Wow, we have an esports player oh, up in the house. I get, I keep getting people coming up to me and going like, Wow, you're you're Omega Sun XC3 from CSULB Overwatch. Dang, oh. dude, yeah. How does that make you feel? Neil, uh, that shit's annoying. Cut it out. It makes you annoying. Does it make you angry? 
Does it make you enraged? <laughs> it makes me sad. Oh, okay then. So, speaking of emotions, being sad, being offended, and all that good stuff. Today... Offended is an emotion? Oh, who knows? Uh, <laughs> it's an extension. Um, so, today we're going to be talking about the emotional spectrum. We're going to be branching off... If Oh, sorry. If you are a fan of the Green Lantern, we're going to be going off that as the baseline. And, of course, we'll gladly expand upon it. If you don't know about the Green Lantern or the different colored lanterns and what they represent, no worries. We'll be going into them uh, throughout this podcast. So you'll be educated in the comic book universe as well as what we think of each emotion. And, obviously, uh, for people watching as well as Kemp and Neil... Um, you're not restricted by any sense to just follow these guidelines. You can gladly expand upon them. If you have any ideas in the chat, feel free to comment because that is that is what this chat is for. We're commenting. <laughs> yeah, I love commenting. Dude. Well, it's, well it's, it's more so to chat, but you get the point. <laughs> and to interact with us, you know? Just gotta comment. You gotta calm your ass down. All right, I'm kidding. All right, so uh, I'm just going to... This is great. I think right. he's probably one of the more emotional guests we have had. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring up the Green Lantern emotional spectrum on screen right now. Uh, so it's a bit clunky, I know. I'm sorry. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that for now. All right, so... These are the seven uh, types of major rings in the Green Lantern universe. And obviously there is the black ring and the white ring, which represents death and life, respectively. But, um, you know, we'll just, we can go in any order um, that we'd like. Do you guys have any one um, that you would like to start with? No. Um, not really. We can go in order. We can go or left, to, left or right? Yeah. All right, cool. Just for context for those watching, um, in the Green Lantern universe, each ring represents a emotion of the of the universe's emotional spectrum, um, with green being the most balanced. Um, and for each color away that you go away from the center of green, uh, the ring, the user has less power over that emotion or... Um, they lose their part of quote unquote humanity because obviously not everyone's human um, in the comic book universe, but you get the idea. So we're going to go ahead and start off with left to right, and we'll get to the other two bonus rings of white and black later. We're going to start with rage. So anger. What makes you angry, guys? God damn. Are you, are you offended? Are you offended, Neil? A lot of things. A lot of things make me angry. You make me angry sometimes. <laughs> you make me angry? Yeah, I know. You know what else makes me angry? League of Legends. Hell yeah. Alright, we're just gonna close that because it's being clunky. You're clunky. Wait, no, uh -huh. I'm sorry. I take that back, man. I don't... Don't be offended, dog. <laughs> sorry. No worries, no worries. So, for... Just for context, uh, context sake, what do you guys define as, like, rage? Or what do you guys define as anger? Like in terms of an emotion, like how would how do you feel? Because you know it's hard to just say be like, yo, yeah, I'm angry, I'm frustrated. But like, how is there a way to put that into a better sense of words? You know what I mean? I, I, it's very difficult, and I do understand that. But no, you guys like, want to try? Like every time, every time I furrow my brows. Ooh, dang! Furrow. Wait, wait, his, what'd you say? He, he furrows his brows, like you know when you're when you're angry, your brows like go in and slant a little towards the middle. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like the, the anime eyes, like yeah, exactly. Lines looking in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like you furrow your brows. Um, what about you, Neil? Is it, you have any like any way to explain rage or? Uh, I'd say it's like when you get pushed into a corner too much and like. It's that point where you just start lashing out at people. Like, oh god. <laughs> Sorry, man. Like when they just start yelling, you know. <laughs> Shit got scary. Sounds like they're angry. In a fit of rage, you <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're screaming in a fit of rage. Hold on. I 
got to scream back. Stop. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get to the yellow one soon enough, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jasmine Lee in the chat, I love you guys. Keep up the good work, my dudes. I love you. And thank you for tuning in, even if just for a little bit. So, Rage, um, for me, is when it's not... It's the lack of obviously happiness, but it's not sadness either. It's, and like I said, using the word frustration is a bit, you know, redundant, but in the sense that it's, for me, anger is the inability to do something or have someone um, create that inability in my life. Because you know what I mean? Like you, for me, uh, rage is when someone purposely is doing something that what I don't like. Because you know, when I, what, well, you're already doing something I don't like, which doesn't, which makes me not happy, right? But if you continue to do it, you're building upon that unhappiness until it's um, a sense of um, overwhelming frustration. It's just like, why are you doing this kind of sense um, for me? And that becomes rage to me. Um, and then I start lashing out, like what Neil said um, on occasion. It's just get out of my way. And I'm angry. Get out of my way. Yeah, dude. I'm angry. Get out of my way. I don't like you. You don't like me. But get out of my way. <laughs> That's how I see it. Because, um, you know, I, I feel like one one example that really embodies that is, you know, the phrase road rage. Get out of my way. What are you doing? If you if you get in my way, I will fight you, you know. I think that's that's one of the better examples of one of these emotions. Yeah. I mean, do do you guys have any other like examples that you see here of or even experience yourself in terms of like anger and rage? Dude, people think I'm angry half the time, but it's just my face. That's the closest <laughs> I've gotten. So so you're I'm saying saying that. you're saying you don't get angry. I guess that a lot. I mean, I I get angry, but it's like my my limit is really far. All right, like, all right. You gotta be doing something for like hours on end that continuously pisses me off, and then I'll snap. Nice. But nice. it's like I I don't I don't really get angry that often. Oh, okay. What about you, Kemp? Oh. Um... Do you have an example? Oh, like that you that you've seen or have experienced. Uh, I mean, like personally, in my head, I'm just like, if if I go in my head, like, what the, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. Which I I do this a lot <laughs> in my head. Uh huh. And I'm just like looking at something, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I, I'm pretty much angry already. Cam, <laughs> are you you're just an angry person? I mean, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> deny that. <laughs> but I, I'm a fair person too. Fair. All right. That's an interesting yeah. way to put it. All right. Yeah, so I won't, I won't like lash out at you or anything. I'll just like be angry in my head. Yeah. And for usually, oh, go ahead, go up? ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, it's like usually when I'm angry, I'm like I just get quiet, keep to myself, because it's like uh, I had a lesson in uh, one of my I wouldn't say theater classes, but it's like humanity classes, or like we just watch movies all the time, and my professor was telling me about how like some dude passed on his emotions to him in the form of road rage and instead of like letting that consume him and like passing that on to someone else he just let it sit there mm. and that, that's that's why i'm like i, I don't want to pass on any negative emotions to others i i'll just keep it to myself and you know, you know just just spare whoever that's true that's true so for those who want to learn a little bit more about the green lantern universe uh rage um for those who own who possess a red lantern ring would be those people have their blood replaced by like a very red mercury substance as well as it continuously makes them angry all the time so so, so like a like a tribal folks sorta except you know they can they can shoot like energy beams of rage at you Oh, that's colored red. Hulk with, Hulk with laser beams. Correct. Hulk with laser oh, wow. beams that are colored red. They're they're yeah, red. He's, he's not red. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, that's pre- yeah. Okay, go on, go on, go on. Um, and other than that, you know, just like like I said, um, for colors further away from the middle, so further away from green, um, you lose your common instincts as a uh, person, as a being. Um, so they're always like in a consumed and raged. Um, so like I said, they're just always angry all the time. Obviously, some users can control it better than others, but if you possess it, um, that's what kind of person you become in the Green Lantern universe. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the Red Lantern core. And, uh, yeah, do you guys have anything else to talk about, uh, rage? I mean, we can always come back to it and connect to it some more, but no worries. Yeah. Alright, cool, cool. We're gonna move on to orange, my favorite color, but, yeah. So... Also your favorite emotion. Probably not my most favorite, not my most favorite emotion, but I can connect with it. Not because of the color, but just because of the emotion. So orange is avarice, or in oh. the so in the sense of um, emotion that is greed. Um, and in the Green Lantern universe, there's only one uh, orange lantern um, in the entire known universe. Um, although there are multiple keys, and when the ring, the uh, the ring chooses the user rather than the user choosing a ring. Um, when using the ring. You are consumed by greed, um, just like rage, and you're unable to control it. You lose yourself and only protecting uh, what you have and continuing to collect and consume um, whatever you can get your hands on. So, being greedy, guys. You guys greedy? Oh, hell. Okay, listen. I'm not. (laughs) Wow. Um, Baited. I I don't know what the fuck to say about that because it's like. For me, I don't give a fuck about money. Like, I'll treat my friends out to dinner. I'll treat my friends out to lunch. Lies! Oh, you never treated me out. Oh, fuck you! You're not that. Just kidding. I'm sorry. Dude. Wow! I'm, sorry. I'm kidding. Hey, oh, you ouch! Ouch! You're off the podcast. Oh, this is your last oh, podcast. Right. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> now, I'm I'll let I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. But it's your last podcast. No, come on. Look, look, look. <laughs> We're gonna go on a date. And we're gonna get tipsy. We're gonna go back to my apartment, and we're gonna fuck. Okay, just kidding. All right, you better um, treat me right. No. <laughs> See, I, I am. I'm taking you out to dinner first before fucking Lucy. All right, all right, all right. Continue, oh, continue. Yeah. All right, okay, agreed, yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. All right, it's go like, ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll take my friends out to dinner. I'll take my friends out to lunch. Uh, I don't even know why that order's reversed, but yeah. <laughs> and like, I'll occasionally just like cheat them out to like ice cream or some shit. Uh huh. Why not? Cause like, I don't know. I just, I'm not that much. I'm not that greedy of a person. Like, yes. Okay, cat. If you come down to California, to Carson, California, I will fucking treat you out to lunch and dinner. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll do the same, but only for one. Only for only for one okay, meal. Okay. Only we'll, for we'll one meal. This. We'll do it like this. Neron will do lunch. I'll do dinner. Actually, no, I want lunch. I'll do lunch. Hey, what the hell? All right, actually, that's fair. (laughs) That's fair. I'll have more money than you. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's Kemp Kemp will buy you desserts. Yeah, yeah. Kemp will be the dessert boy. Like, we'll get bulb and shit. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Um, For those watching, uh, Kat just said in the chat, are you going to treat me, Neil? That was the answer. So, you know, Neil obviously doesn't seem like a greedy person. Um, Kemp, what about you? Um, I'm greedy, but I have a lot of self-control. What well, ex- can you ex- what can you explain further? What what you mean by that? Hey, man, like, how how do you be greedy but have self-control? That sounds that seems like a contradiction in a sense. Uh, like I want a lot of things, but I mean I get it. You want me, but you know. Yeah, I want a lot of things, but you know, uh, I won't I won't get those things. I'll stop myself from getting those things. Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I guess I guess I guess I guess greedy is not the right word, but so 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 it's more like you lust after things. Yeah, it's it, no, it's like it's like I, I desire after a lot of things, but yeah, des- strong, oh, the, jam, the, the strong desire. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, I don't know I don't know being greedy and like having a lot of desires is uh is similar. One man, one desire. <laughs> I get it. You desire me. That's, that's, all, that's I, all good, I, I, man. I'm, 
not on Skype. I just furrowed my brow. <laughs> Thursday, June twentieth. <laughs> In theaters, one man, one desire. His name is Camp Rivas. Everyone's gonna be like, "What kind of name is that?" <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> see you later, bruh. All right, Cat said, "Oh my God." Planning, okay, planning my trip, thank you. Oh, yeah, come down for, like, after graduation and stuff, man. Go come down for a day just for, like, lunch and dinner and then fly back up. Damn, that is not worth I'm not treating you to, like, a five-star friggin' restaurant. It's like those guys that go to Disneyland just to, like, grab a meal. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. All right, continuing on. Um, For me, greed. Um, I want to say there, there's definitely a sense of greed in me. In the sense of... I'm not initially greedy, but when I get the taste for something or when I want something, there'll be not necessarily an obsession with it, but an more a, de a bigger desire and want to get that thing um, more than if I didn't know about it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh shoot, this thing is on sale. Oh shoot, this other thing's on sale. I should oh, get shoot. I should Man, get I'm this while I'm already like once I start buying something. I'm more prone to continue buying. Like, if you told me to keep gambling, if I was winning, I would keep going. I would, there would be less control for me to stop. But, you, you know, that's what I mean. It's like, you, I have to get my foot in the water first before the greed, you know, starts, begins. Because for me, I'm more, I'm, I'm more of a logical kind of person um, and rational for more or less, unless I'm, you know, driven by greed, rage, um, stuff like that. Um, although I, like I said, I am an emotionally driven person. Um, you know, they, they often reflect what kind of decisions I do make in life. And greed um, only happens when I, when I get a taste of it. You know what I mean? That's, that's me. That's how I avarice. That's how I avarice, bro. Orange is yeah, my favorite just, color. <laughs> just, just catch me at AX. You're a greedy bitch. Just throw all the money around. Yeah. Camp, <laughs> Camp, Camp has specific greed. He will specifically like splurge and as as people call it in certain communities, wailing on uh, specific categories of like niche, a niche category of uh, yeah. consumption. It's like I rarely go all in, but when I do, I'm all in. What about, do you are you sure you don't have any any examples, Neil? What, being of, greedy? Yeah, of being greedy. Uh, fuck, not that my memory serves me. Yeah, have you ever played? Have you ever played Overwatch and you're playing Mercy and you want to go for a res even though you know you shouldn't have? Oh, I go for it anyways and I die. And that's there you go. There's your greed. Bingo. No, I don't think that's. It's for the team. You know what? Yeah, no, that's see, that's the excuse. That's the excuse for the team, quote unquote, for the team. Doesn't match up. I'm being attacked. Help! <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, cat. Um, cat just said in the chat, "You guys come visit, and I'll treat you." Awesome, awesome. You know, like I said, in the up not upcoming years, but eventually. Um, I plan to road trip it with some buddies. I'll probably take. Oh fuck, that's so far. But um, yeah, you know, that's gonna be like you know a week or two weeks trip that we're gonna need to invest into you know road trip up there and yeah, and we'll get food. Ah uh, yes, you'll treat you treat us. We appreciate your hospitality. All right, so going on to the next color. Oh, also, um. Just for reference, for Green Lantern Universe purposes, uh, orange also has the power to create uh, yellow. Oh, sorry, orange embodiment um, clones and beings that creates a giant army. So yeah, that's it. All right, so yellow fear, also known as the Sinestro Core. So they they feed off fear. Um, uh, the more people that are scared in the universe or in the environment around them, they become stronger. And they pretty much have the exact same powers of Green Lanterns, where they can also shoot lasers of fear and uh, energy beams, as well as, you know, create constructs, you know, hard light objects. 
stuff like that. So that's the that's the yellow, uh, yellow lantern core, the Sinestro core. Um, shit, all they're gonna need is me to power them up. Jesus Christ, I'm scared of fucking everything. All right, so Neil, it looks like you would end up falling into the yellow lantern core. What would uh, what would you do? What 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 kind of fear consumes you, my friend? Everything. What the fuck? What kind of question? <laughs> everything scares me, dude. I can't do anything. Oh my goodness. All right. Feel free to feel feel free to explain. Commit scares me. Fucking exercise scares me too. All right, all right, all right. So we're 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 gonna get into a little bit deeper here. So what are some of your darkest fears? You know, you don't have to, like, reach down deep for the very darkest ones, but, you know, pretty dark. Like, if you guys don't want to go first, I'll gladly go first. You know what? My deepest, darkest fear? Muscular? Women. Just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not it. That's not it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Uh, in terms of fear? Yes. Uh, like, I'd say my biggest fear is, like, being forgotten. Mm. That's fair. That's fair. That's yeah. That's definitely true. That's fair. Do you have any other like, ones or? Yeah, these... No, not really. That that's like the biggest one so far. It's a, It's like. Is it, if is I'm it gonna leave this team... world, oh. I really want to leave something that people can oh. remember me by, not just like oh he has gone. Oh okay, okay, we forget about him. Yeah, whatever. He didn't do anything. He's useless. Whatever. Bye. You know. I, I just want I want a legacy. Hmm, okay. I see. That's that's my fear. Nice. Kemp, do you wanna go next or do you want me to go next? Oh, I'll go next. Um for me it's probably uh, letting certain people down. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, do you have like a reason for that or like conditioning uh, your condition to that or what's up? If you don't wanna if you don't wanna get into it, that's fine. Right, just let no, me know. It's just, I mean, it, it's only certain people. I mean, like, if I let, like, some random guy I don't know down, it's like, all right, whatever, but, like, say it's, like, for my sister. If I let her down around something, like, important, like, I probably won't let that down for a while. Mmm, I see, I see. Um, as for me, um, I have, like, two big ones that come to mind. Um, the first one is, um, losing connections and relations with people. Um, you know, having a close friend and going through the pain of losing to them, um, and not having them in my life, whether that's, that's, you know, I've never, I've never had someone close to me die. Um, but I've never, you can. Right here. <laughs> no, Neil, don't <laughs> no. do it. It's not worth it. So is this like a, is this also like a play to like, like burning bridges? Well, yeah, the the fear of burning bridges. It's a fact that sometimes, like, I want to get close to people, but at the same time, I don't want to do or say something wrong that pushes them away. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, you don't want to be a disappointment. Well, yeah, sort of the sense, but I think it's the more more the the fear of loss. You know what I mean? Like disappointment oh, is one okay, thing because yeah, you know yeah. they can still be friends, but it's like. The fear of loss. Like I've had that multiple times um, recently, especially in college, where I've like lost a f lost a friend. Like had a friend breakup. Like the dude, that shit hurts, dude. Like a, a like a legitimate friend breakup is like hurts just as much as like a legitimate like relationship breakup. That's that dude, stings, that's like, bro. That's terrifying. It's like one second they're there, the next second they're gone. Like, yeah, yeah, never, yeah. Exactly. You'll you'll never recall how it felt like. Like mm -hmm. before that happened, like I think that's scary, especially in terms yeah. of yeah. I think and yeah, I, yeah, people. definitely, yeah, 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 exactly. That's why it leads this sort of to the the second like big fear, which connects to it, is like the fear of being alone. Um, for me, I I was I grew up with not many close friends, um, as a kid, um, and I wasn't really close to my family in in the sense, but um. You know, I've grown to, I've grown closer to like everybody. I've gotten close friends, like you guys and family, definitely. But I think it's the the sense of, um, you know, I think I found what I was like lacking in my life, and it was just like people. So I feared 
being alone. You know what I mean? I enjoyed the company that I did have. And then once I experienced, you know, like loneliness for a bit, um, you know, kind of made me kind of, kind of scared, terrifies me. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't stand being alone with emptiness <laughs> and just alone, my own thoughts. Alone, yeah, alone with your own thoughts. Yeah, dude, I can't be alone with my own thoughts. That just gets worse. Honestly, that just gets worse. You, 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 need, uh, you need reassurance. Yes. Well, yeah, occasionally, yeah. Uh, occasionally. All right, let's see. Cat in the chat says, Hydrosphere, a sphere of water, atmosphere, sphere of air, biosphere. No, we're not talking about spheres. We're not talking about circular round objects. We're talking about spheres. <laughs> fear, fear, fear with an F, not the P. Letter <laughs> beer. I know Uh. Oh, oh, sorry. It was, it was a joke. Biosphere, and then biggest sphere is losing you. Aw, aw. Ricky, where are you at? <laughs> damn, dude. damn, damn. I didn't, I didn't read the entire joke. I'm sorry. Aw, aw. All right. So I don't know. Fear is fear is a big one um, in most people's lives. I remember. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go off on a small tangent here. If you guys don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care, man. This is your podcast. Hey, man. But I mean, I like having people on here. All right. So, um, one. I was listening to one graduation speech from another school, um, this past year. It was like you know one of those highlight videos that you see of people doing speeches, and one of them was that life. Uh, you either uh, make a decision based off fear or out of love. And we'll get into love later. But it's either you do something, you make that decision based off what you love, what you want to do, what you want to see in life, um, taking risk, or out of fear. You make a more logical decision, more rational, because you don't want to take that risk um, to do what you want to do, what you want, what you love in life. So I think that was really powerful in my sense. Uh, to that speech where if it really comes down to it that's what kind of decisions you do make um in the long run especially life-changing decisions so i don't know if you guys have anything to, about that if not we that can makes, that makes a lot of sense <coughs> for sure all right hold on show, show. Hold on to what? Huh? You know, Cam, come here. Hold, hold on to me. Alright, I'm here. Hold, hold on, on to me. Hold on to me. Take it off. Here I go. Hold me. Hold me, Jack. Hold me. Water. What? Are you drowning? <laughs> All right. I, sorry, I'm I back, guys. Sorry, Pop. Sorry about that. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Drowning, Neil. Oh, oh. man. Yeah, we're, we're, we're testing How did we spirit. get here? All right, so we're going to go on to the next emotion of Green Lantern, the most notable lantern, uh, willpower. So the emotion to continue pushing yourself um, to do what is right um, in the universe. Or what... To do, what... Right or to, like, to do anything in general? Well, or, or, usually... Or Usually, Green Lanterns is for justice, um, and usually it's based off what you think is right, uh, based off one's own emotion, but obviously, um, the reason why Green Lantern is usually for good and for justice, because if you're doing something with willpower, but it's not for the sense of good, it's usually because you are consumed by another emotion and you're likely to get another ring, such as rage. Because you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it, like, if... One one of the reasons uh, one of the characters in the Green Lantern universe um, had or a can one in the TV show not necessarily canon was they had someone who was a red uh, who had who became a Red Lantern because their loved one died and they became consumed in rage because they wanted the willpower to do something but that willpower came out of anger so oh, okay that, that makes sense yeah so yeah so that's why Green is usually in the Green Green Lantern universe usually defines the willpower to do good and do justice. Okay. So, it's sort of a BS emotion, you know what I mean? That what did Neil say that someone whoever wrote this emotional spectrum was smoking something? Oh yeah, they they must have been on some good shit, dude. <laughs> I want that good shit. 
I mean, so yeah, I mean, like, this isn't much of a general emotion that people talk about um, in everyday life. You don't, you don't go to a therapist and be like, you need willpower in your life. You're feeling willpower right now. You know what I mean? It's, or, um, you gotta motive... really feel it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling it, as uh, Shulk would say. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> You feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Oh no! All right, so there's that. Um, you know, what, what do you guys have to do? And you can also see willpower as a uh, motivation, as your uh, yeah, an emotion. That, that, that's, what I, that's what I was thinking too. Motivation. What is your drive? So it's like, what what motivates you to do what you do? Like Neil, why do you do esports? Oh, okay. I mean, we can we can we can continue on with what you want to talk about, but I just want to pose this question to you. Uh, why do I do esports? It's fucking fun. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That I remember, mean, like, every since I was young, because I saw like CSS kind of like starts uh, being played competitively on TV, and I was like, holy shit, I want to do that. And now that I'm here, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna keep doing this because this is fun. I I think. I think playing competitively is like, it's a change of pace for me. Okay. From being like, it, it there's that fine line between like casual and competitive play, and I think that's what really separates it for me. Hmm. Nice, nice. And you had something else to say before I ask you that? Nope. Oh, alrighty then. Camp, you or me? <laughs> Got him. I I thought he had something to say too. I was just like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounded like he was gonna say something before I asked the question. So, yeah. Okay, maybe I might have forgotten. Okay. okay, okay. So let me let me pose a different question to you, Neil. So what what else drives you outside of like esports? What what drives you? Um, you know, moving on day to day. Um, you know, just moving on. With oh, life. Do you, do you have a drive oh, for that? Here. Yeah, we're going there. We're going there. Let's let's broaden this. Um, you know, get a little bit deep if you'd like. I think for me it's like, uh, fuck it. Like, I'll be honest, I kind of don't want to go on day to day. But it's like, hey, if, if you're not going to be alive for yourself, like, be alive for other people. Be there for them. Like, mm. it, at some point they're going to stop in their race and you, you never know that. You never know. Maybe you're going to be the one to get them back on their feet and get them going. Mm, I see. So I it's see. like, I'm like, all right, I can't, I can't just walk away now. I have to be there for people. Nice, nice, nice. It sounds like a. a it sounds so wholesome, but it's like. <laughs> it sounds like a profession other than esports. <laughs> Hi, I'm the therapist. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be, want to be caretaker? Oh hell no, no. I mean, like, I'll be there for people that need it. If not, then you know, I'll be floating around. You'll find me at some point. So a so a caretaker? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> not not like constantly. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. You're there you when they. You're you're the hero. What, what what's the phrase in Batman? The hero they deserve, but not. No, the hero they but need, them, want... but they don't deserve. There you go. That there you go. That's the wait, line. That's what? Neil. You you are the Batman, Neil. Batman. Wait, wait. Explain this to me. What? You you're the hero they deserve they needed but didn't deserve. Yeah. It's like they need you for your for who you are, but they yeah, didn't deserve you because you're too good for them. Yeah. That shit hurts, dog. Hey man, that's yeah. Batman, dude. Bro, it's it's fuck, it's fuck, it's what? Right. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. It is what it is. What about you, Camp? You or me next? I can go. All right. So willpower. Um, I actually got asked this in my job interview today. It was, um, what is your motivation? What is your drive? Um, it was, for me, I want, I said, uh, uh, do it for others. What is what makes me happy? Um, seeing other people happy, period. Um, although some people might be a stranger and some people are closer to me, and obviously the closer they are to me, that when they're happy is usually when I feel even more. Uh, greater happiness within myself um, but you know just being able to put a smile on someone's face um, is what drives me and although sometimes you know there are times where nobody's smiling it's a hard time in life and it, it's it's hard to get through those times but I feel like 
willpower, I think that that what drives me in the long run is to have people happy and like you know that especially goes with like family and stuff you know it leads people who who, who share blood with you you know what i mean it's like the phrase another phrase is uh uh for like what i've heard that i that we used for a slogan for pcn for filipino culture night um for our large skit was the blood we share is thicker than the waters that separate us. So, I mean, I th family is, like, pretty important in that sense, um, being that sort of drive um, in the in the end as well. So, for me, that, that's, you know, people, happiness, loved ones. You know, if, if I find that special someone, bada boom, you're in there. Willpower! You become my willpower. You are my Green Lantern. Damn, baby. Damn. All right, Kemp, your turn. <laughs> Damn, you're in there. I, I, I don't want to stop you or anything. No, 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 I'm dead. I'm done. Um, you're dead? No, no. What? You're done making know, people you're happy? Dead. I got scared, man. No, no, no. I, I care I, for you. I'm you fit. Know, if you need help, I'll be there. You know? Just call me. I will be there. I'll be there. Not like that, but I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> Just oh, call sorry. my Listen. name. Neil be there. <laughs> Neil be there. All right, Kemp, your turn. Go ahead. Um, I think for me, it's 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 not as wholesome as you. Definitely not as wholesome as you. Oh, you are greed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, wow. I'm definitely a greedy person. But I, I I'm mostly trying to satisfy myself for the most part mm -hmm. because i think i think as a person if uh if you're not satisfied i think there's more to be done so as long as there's more to be done um i can uh continue striving mm. I, really don't I like so, that one i like that yeah mad respect for that one yeah so i'm just i'm just trying to go up up in life and that, that's my motivation it's just like until I hit a ceiling, and then until uh, until I can't go up anymore, then I don't know. That's probably when I'll be like old as fuck. <laughs> I'll be like on my deathbed or something. Damn, dude, that that's deep too. <laughs> yeah, that is. Hey, man, that's that's not necessarily as like wholesome in the sense that you know it's for other people, but it's still damn pretty wholesome, you dude. <laughs> Sky's the limit for this man. Everything is only for me. Not even, not well, hold on. The sky's not even the limit. Nope. Shoot for the stars, baby. Mm -hmm. yep. Nice, nice. I like, I like what we're going. For anyone watching in the chat, it's probably only cat right now. I think I don't know. Um, you know what drives you? Comment below. Chat with us, man. Join, join the conversation. You feel? All right. What drives you, my heart? <laughs> what drives me? Uh. A 2012 Kia Forte. <laughs> <laughs> what is Neil? What do you drive? A 2015 oh, Honda CRV. Honda CRV. <laughs> My mom car. You guys ready for fucking soccer practice? Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right. So you know exactly what what drives you. Um, let us know. I feel like it's a good question to help. You know, keep yourself motivated, yourself driven, because it helps. Uh, in my opinion, it helps uh, bring people down to earth, keep them grounded in what they want to do in life and how to reach those goals. That's a good one. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we're going to move on to... Oh, wait, do you guys have anything else going on with Green and with Willpower? Uh, no, not really. All right, so we're going to go and move on to Blue Lantern. Uh, Blue Lanterns also have the same powers as Yellow and Green. They can shoot energy blasts of hope. Um, create constructs as well, and so, there's. I want this guy to. I want this guy to shoot me with hope. Yeah, and <laughs> um. Uh, hope uh, the special power that blue has. They are the strongest lantern in the universe in terms of color, um, because in Green Lantern universe, although you might not have anything else in the world, um, in terms of possessions, um. Uh possessions even the the will to live there will always be hope in the in the universe you know what i mean so that that's why that's considered one of the strongest emotions 
Um, that's why it's the strongest lantern, one of the strongest lanterns. Um, is it, is it the blue lantern the good guys or what? Yes, blue lanterns are actually the good guys. Um, there's only like two. I, I, for sure, there's only one. Uh, for sure, there's one. I mean, but I there's not that many blue lanterns. There's only like two or three. Um, they're very rare. Um, like I said, for hope, for those who have lost everything but hope, that's how you become a blue lantern. I see. Um, hope for the future, stuff like that. Uh, so blue lanterns usually a good guy, and the a special ability that blue lanterns have is that when they are near a green lantern user, um, the green lanterns can get supercharged and they become more powerful. Um, overall. The reason being in terms of the emotional spectrum that hope can only do so much until you have the willpower to do do something about it. That's why they power the green they empower uh, green lanterns. So that's pretty cool. Yeah you know, right? So that that's why the that's why there's only that I've known of, there's only one blue lantern um that they talk about in the comics in that I know about. I, like I said, I'm not an expert. But when there is, they're able to empower Green Lanterns. All the Green Lantern rings around them along with, for example, if they were to put the willpower energy laser blast into the Blue Lantern, the Blue Lantern's also able to magnify those blasts as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's hope in terms of the Green Lantern universe. Um, it's kind of a hard emotion to, uh, to explain and experience, but... I don't know. Do you guys have anything, or do you guys want me to go first? Uh, for fucking hope. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll, I'll I'll go first for this one then. Um, for hope, I think hope in in the sense that unlike the, all the other ones that you've that we've talked about so far, hope is more of is probably the least tangible of them all. Um, cause you know, you can, you can feel rage, you can feel greed, you feel fear, and you can do something about willpower, right? Hope is a mind, is a mindset that you hope something's going to happen. It's a faith. You know what I mean? That just because something's happened, you have this mindset that there will always be something good in the end, regardless of how bad a situation is. That's what hope is. Sounds like an optimist. Exactly. It's 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 pretty much an optimist. Um that's why it empowers green injustice. And um for me, um an example that hope co just comes down to sports, is sports teams. Um I think that's the easiest example because it's like you can be a fan of a sports team and a sports organization and hope for them to do really well throughout the season, right? Uh go go to a playoffs and potentially win a championship. Um, as an, as a more specific example, look at my picture. I'm a CLG fan. Like the, one of the, if you're, uh, if you're a fan of League of Legends and you know CLG that, you know, one of the biggest lines when winning their first championship was the faithful shall be rewarded. Um, in the sense that it's taken years for an organization to win that, ch that first championship. And there was always that hope that they wanted to continue to win um and work towards that and although occasionally their w results wouldn't be there but the hope that they continue to work towards that uh goal you know made made that made reaching that goal feel even better um not only for the players but you know for myself as a fan you know it was really nice really nice the hope on that one i hope na does have... good at worlds <laughs> i have the hope all right, Neil, go ahead. What is your hope? I just said he has no hope. Uh, I have hope. All right, you're uh, clearly not a Blue Lantern. Kemp? Yeah, you're not a Blue Lantern. Um, so this is hopeful as in something... All right, so I'm thinking of this in like an optimist point of view. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I, I guess I'm like... Oh, man. Oh, wait, gonna... hold on. Wait. What, Neil? Can I, can I just put something in there real quick? Yeah, go ahead, Neil. Because that was a real good lesson. Larson. <laughs> Larson. <laughs> Larson. Larson. I was just getting cry there. How it was like, be optimistic, but realistic. Like, you could always have hope for something, but uh, you got to know when, like, enough is enough. You that, know? That's fair. I, 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 
consider myself to be a realist. <laughs> oh yeah, same, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to put that there. That's the only thing I have to say in regards to hope. Oh yeah, that that totally makes sense. Um, but you know, yeah, like you, yeah, you I get hope, it. You could hope for a relationship yeah. with a girl, but if it doesn't work out, like, don't kill yourself hoping that maybe, maybe, just maybe, that yeah. there's something still there. You know, just move on, dude. Like, there is always, there's it. always the hope that even if that doesn't work out, there's always some someone yeah, else there, there for you. All, yeah, I understand that there's always gonna be some hope, but it's like. I think at that point, you know, it's just better to just go forward with your life instead of being held back by, you know, that person. All yeah. right, yeah. Okay. Kemp? Well, all right, well, all right, well yeah, I, I was just going to say, um, I think to be hopeful, uh, I, I want to be hopeful that I can do all the things I wanted to do. Like, uh, hopeful that one day I can I can go to Japan. One day I can, mm. I can, I can provide for my parents, like, when they're super old. Like, one day, you know, stuff like that. Mm, definitely, okay, definitely. One day he'll meet your waifu. Uh, hey man, maybe you do have some blue lantern in you, Kemp. There you go. I think that's a really yeah, good one. It's like I, I never said I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. That, that was Neil. That was Neil. Neil's not a blue lantern for sure. Okay, um, no, no, okay. That like I have one small ounce of blue lantern in me. Okay. <laughs> all right. One so. Small. All right. Sure, sure. I think for Kemp, that's the same way. I'm the same way. Um, that you know, I want to be able to do things. Um, but you know, hope in a sense is also you know, like you said, being an optimist. But sometimes, in 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 reality world, not in Green Lantern, but it's just like being hopeful, being oh, optimistic can yeah. sometimes, sometimes yeah. bite you in the ass. The the realest way is just like I do. I'm hopeful to do the things that I wanted to. It's like I'll make it happen myself. You know, uh, I'll I'll save up the money to go to Japan. I will yeah, make yeah. enough money to do whatever. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll live. Got you, got you. Uh, Let's see. Oh and then Kat said, "Sorry, doing my work too, Lemfal. Uh, money drives me. Triple smiley face. She's a she's an orange lantern. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna go to indigo or purple. Is gonna be compassion or empathy, in the sense oh, of the indigo and purple are the same thing. Fuck. Yeah, well, it depends. It's indigo in." In the comic books, it's like a mix of really dark blue and like a slight of violet. So that's what they call it. They call it indigo, but it's sort of purplish, you know. Um, there's a violet right after this. Well, violet slash pink. Yeah, um, yeah that, that's why it's a, the colors get mixed up between, you know, comic books and like, you know. Okay. So compassion, also known as empathy. <laughs> Um, in terms of the Green Lantern universe, um, they can also obviously shoot beams of compassion, but, uh, and their special ability, um, they cannot con create constructs, you know, hard light abilities, but their special power is they can, they're able to teleport to anywhere in the universe if so desired. Um, oh. obviously the more... Uh, indigo lanterns that you have, the further you can teleport. Um, the reason is compassion, uh, in a sense, in the in the comic books is um, that you when you wear the ring, you are forced to understand the feelings of others. And as this is further away from the center that is green, uh, indigo slash uh, purple. Um, members who take on the indigo rings of compassion, they are often um uh, like mass murderers or criminals in the galaxy. But since it's away from green, um, the rings take over their sense of humanity, and they actually um are taken over by the sense of compassion. They become over overly compassionate that they lose themselves, and um always can always try to con uh. Uh, feel understand other people's emotions um the reason why i say they were criminals and like murderers and stuff like that is they need the reason they needed to understand um how it felt to be on the other side of the crimes that they were doing oh. so that's that's the reason for the indigo rings in the green lantern universe um so yeah compassion being empathetic i feel like that's a very important skill and in this sense emotion to have 
to be able to understand others. Right, so... I have a lot of compassion for people, but at the same time, I question a lot of people's emotions, and it's just like, why the fuck do you feel this way? When, you know, there's like, there's like other things you could be doing. Mm, that's fair. It's like, I, I understand how people feel, but at the same time... <laughs> why are you it. feeling this way? It's just like, it's kind of Why are you like this? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's kind of dumb that they, they, they feel this way. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think. Oh, Neil, you have anything? No. No, you're not. You're not compassionate. No you're compassionate. not empathetic. <laughs> okay. I like. Well, I like how Neil is on like the left side of the spectrum. <laughs> wait, what? I thought, I thought Neil was an emotional one. Yeah. Um, I don't no, know. Am he, I compassionate? He's strong. He, he's strongly emotional, just on the left side of the spectrum. <laughs> I'm fucking no. Dude. I I'm more towards the middle, and Kemp is also towards the middle, balanced. Don't worry. When we get the black, I'll show you. Oh my god! All right. So you have nothing about uh, indigo slash compassion. Nah. All right. So I don't know. For me, I think it's important to be able to put yourself in other people's shoes. Exactly. Oh, uh, wait, that's what that means. Oh okay. yeah, dude. Compassion, empathy. Oh my got lord. You, bitch. Invade it again. That's like the fourth time this podcast. See, this is where my compassion is. It's like, why the fuck do you not understand that? <laughs> yeah. So that. So that's okay, that's yeah, what compassion I'm is. Being able to put your okay? compassion slash empathy. Being able to put yourself in other people's shoes. That's what this means. Oh, dude. Thank you for breaking it down for me. Oh my god, you weren't even paying attention to the to the Green Lantern universe explanation, <laughs> were you? Oh no, 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 I wasn't, pay, I wasn't paying attention to compassion because it came across a really funny meme. Oh <laughs> my god, alright, continue, go ahead. But, yeah, yeah, what you're saying is like, being able to put your... Sh being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes is... Really trying, to put, trying to put some shoes into someone else's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you just, sh sh shoe shoe is that what you're gonna you're gonna say that huh? Uh, let's see. Cat said, uh, "I'm offended. I'm the biggest crybaby. I even cry when I see others cry. To be honest, I'm that person." Cat, one I mean, one of these days. Yeah, I mean, can we cry together? There's a there's a time and place to cry. But uh, can we just if, cry together, please. You know, you know, you know. We say that, but then at the same time, remember when she was on our podcast? She's a very strong, wo strong woman to oh. be. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this. So she's compassionate, but she's also very uh, w high willed, strong will. <laughs> strong will. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, cat. But you know, um, like everyone we've been saying is, it's very important to be able to understand other people's shoes, to understand their positions in life. In a real world, yeah, I understand yeah. your shoes, man. Yeah, <laughs> understand their shoes, how they tie them, what kind of laces, what size they wear, what not they use. Yeah. Um, I think the other important aspect of it is, in the real world sense, is that it's it makes making decisions when other people aren't there. Um, a little bit easier because you understand what their position is, how they want to react, or how would they, how they would react, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, what do you guys have anything else about compassion, empathy? Hey guys, I'm gonna just tell everyone watching here: if you have time to be sad, you have time to make yourself happy. Damn, you heard that? I'm gonna tell you now. If you're ever sad, you have time to make yourself happy too. Yeah, put yourself in the shoes of someone happy. Just kidding. That's not what we mean. But no, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, wear their shoes. Yeezys. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, the last major emotion in the Green Lantern spectrum is pink slash light violet. Um, I don't know, dude. It, it changes. It changes, like I said in the comics. Um, is love. So... Right, I'm all about this love shit, too. Come here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna love the fuck out of you, dog. Alright, keep going. So, love, um, like I said, this is 
also very far away from the center of the emotional spectrum. You become overfilled with love. You obviously get the power of to shoot love beams, love powered <laughs> energy beams so at people. Whoever if, has Viola is fucking Cupid all up in this bitch. Well, not in the sense of love as in each other, but the love of something. You know what I mean? It's in the sense of the comics is when I forgot the name of the the violet lantern or the pink lantern, uh, the major one. Um, when she shoots people with their beams, if they're not already a, already have a lantern ring, um, they become overfilled with love and um, not necessarily compassion, but the sense of they're so over joyed with love for the thing that they care about that they stop what actions they are doing because they love that thing so much they become obsessed with it um in a sense obsessed with it in a good way in terms of protection where the opposite on the opposite side of the spectrum like rage you become so obsessed with it you want to destroy something um that that's that's the opposite with love you become so obsessed with it you want to protect it what haven't you ever loved something so much that you end up destroying it on accident? Look, look. If 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 this isn't if this isn't about like resources, like a car's tires, because I like driving it so much. You know, what I mean that that's that's not the same. It's, oh. it's it's not the sense of like I love it so much that I will destroy it so no one else can have it. Not that kind of love. Oh, Darren, I love you so much. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh God, we got Yandere's Yandere Simulator. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna confirm this. Green Lantern emotional spectrum. Hold on, let me make sure I'm getting uh violet. Yeah, indigo, violet. Um and the users, uh those who are capable of great love, who have lost their loves or have been rejected, uh and are capable of wielding it. Um mm, Mm. This is a, it sounds very general. Let's see. They're interpreted the best way to spread love throughout the universe and destroy hate and fear. Um, so the reason why it over sometimes oh, um, in the sense that, like what Neil said that. You love something so much, not in the sense that you want to destroy the thing that you love, but you want to destroy anything that threatens what you love. That's why that's why violet and love is on the other side of the spectrum. You're I destructive in the you're destructive in the sense that you want to protect something overly obsessive way. And, like, <laughs> and then so Cat says, me? Yeah, I'm stubborn, but I'm the realist. Come on. Alright, true, true. Are you fucking right? All right, like, so... I'll be honest, like, I've destroyed relationships because I was scared of destroying it. I don't know. This oh. shit makes me sad. I, I thought you meant you like, you, like, force people to break up. It's like, are you no, a home wrecker? No, no, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, hell no. Yeah. I, I ain't no fucking home wrecker either. <laughs> Alright, what do you... So, not in the sense that we, we can say this in the in the same way as the Green Lantern universe of you're gonna destroy something that threatens what you love, but... Love in general, guys. We've had three val Valentine's Day podcasts about this. One about the five love languages. And I think there was another one about relationships somewhere along the line. But, you know, love. What do you guys love? You, bitch. <laughs> they, 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 thanks, babe. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, what else, guys? What else? Kemp, what do you love? What do you yeah. love so much that you want to greed? <laughs> uh, I love, uh, and I love two D images, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you mean anime titties? Uh, yeah, dude. I love anime. Anything else, guys? I think that's all I got for love. Aside from like, oh, you know what? Talk about yeah, loving you yourself. Love yet. Hey man, you can love other people, and you can love other items, but what about loving yourself? Oh yeah, I love myself a lot too. Yeah, I love oh. my, I love myself so much. I'm gonna destroy everything around me. Yeah. I love myself so much. I'm gonna destroy it. 
I love if myself. I, if I can't have you, no one else can. Oh my god, Yandere is- Yandere alert! <laughs> Yandere simulator. No. Uh, for, for those in the anime slash weeb world, Yandere is uh, those murderous ones that you love a character so much, they're gonna kill the other characters around them. I, I feel like, that in terms of anime, that's the easiest to relate this, this color to. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know what else. I mean, love. We've talked about this so much on this podcast previously. I don't. I don't even know what else to add, man. Love yourself. Love what you do. And when you find someone, make sure they love you back as equally as you love yourself. I mean, that, that's stuff oh totally covered, man. Oh my god, you're hitting the, the chords right now. I am. I am fucking resonating with this shit. I mean, there you go, man. I mean, like we talked about this so many times. Um. Yeah, Kep, you have anything other than like what you guys love materialistically? Um, uh, we we definitely talked about that. Was, uh, what I said before was that you gotta yeah you gotta love yourself right before before anything else. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Cat in the chat, what do you love? We already, we already know you love Ricky. He went to go dance in the hallway, got caught by someone watching, and he made you walk in the opposite direction to play Pokemon Go. But, <laughs> what, what do you love? <laughs> uh, I'll leave that. Anyone else watching, type what you uh, love below as well. You know, when you love someone, you'd go to extraordinary lengths to do something for them. I feel oh, like that was it. Oh, tell me about it, dude. That... I've been doing that shit yeah. like this past semester. Man. Don't, yeah, dude. don't do that shit. Just I feel I feel like that was one thing we didn't talk about previously on podcast. Like, what? Do, going out of your way to do stuff for another person because you, because you love them or you love something. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you love an artist so much, I'm going to the Bay Area just to watch a concert. Oh, or like, or dude. like EDC stuff like that. Um, oh, oh, hell no! I went to EDC because I fucking love music. Okay. No, exactly. Uh, like, like, exactly. Like, you'll go out of the like. You don't have to watch that artist. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know. That's 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 what I'm going on about. It's like you'll go out of your way. You have people internationally going to EDC to Las Vegas to experience that kind of environment because they love that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's what I mean. Um, you yeah, know. Oh, like, like I'll go to X this year because one of my one of my favorite authors is going to be there. I want him to like photograph something for me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. For me, do I love someone? Maybe. Me? You... I'm right here. What the fuck? <sighs> Alright, sorry, sorry, us. sorry. Am I in love with someone? Yeah, us. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in love with someone that is not in this podcast? No. My brother! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> tell tell Nico I said hi after this podcast. Nico! Nero said hi! Tell him I love him. He says he loves you. Oh, I don't think he loves you back. He didn't respond. Maybe he's oh, sleeping, you asshole. He is bad, man. Because I see him on fucking Overwatch right now. Oh, oh, he's wearing headsets then. Um, Cat says, I love myself. Ha ha. He he. XD. Uh, she ofs her friends and family. Doesn't love them. She ofs them. No L. She doesn't take those L's, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think you guys ready to move on? Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we're going to take this, uh, the next two other, oh, hold on. She she just typed a lot. Uh, she oh. says, I don't know. I just feel like I'm full of love, and I love a lot of things, except eggplant and racism. Quadruple. No, that's a lie. She never uh, told me she loved me. Pen, pen, penta, penta, smiley face. Cat, man, you're missing out on the eggplant, man. It's a lot of love in that eggplant. Yeah, just imagine, huh? just imagine Camp's picture with the chopsticks instead of Korean barbecue. It's eggplant. Yeah. Have to say. And don't even imagine it's it's Camp. Imagine it's Ricky. Just imagine, just imagine Ricky. <laughs> yeah, get some, oh. uh, Chinese yeah. eggplant. It's so good. All right. So um. Yeah, uh, I think we're done with this topic, right, guys? Yeah. All right, so now we covered the. Hey, what about black, huh? What about death, huh? Oh, hold Which on, hold on, guys. I was gonna segue. Calm down. <laughs> All right. I so... got too. I got too angry. 
<laughs> rage. <laughs> <laughs> greed. <laughs> greed. <laughs> rage. Well, I mean, it's, it, 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 are we done with, with all the, the Green Lantern stuff? Uh, like all almost. The... Almost. So we've oh, covered the, the seven major um, individual emotions and Lantern cores throughout the Green Lantern universe. Although there are two uh, specific Lantern colors, black and white, which represents death and life. Uh, black Lanterns, just to go into comic book uh, references, Black Lanterns are represent death. Um, they are controlled by one user. I forgot the name. He's like he's obviously super evil, um, and he black lantern rings will go out to um anyone who has died or will die um in the universe so literally anyone who's been dead anyone who's died in the uh dc comic book universe has been revived by the black lantern uh rings at least one time at least oh. um and then for those who have like died um and been resurrected in the dc universe um, they've had a clone of themselves be resurrected because they technically died. Um, and the thing about Black Lanterns, their special ability other than to, you know, raise the dead is the more, uh, beings that they have, uh, that have Black Lanterns on in the universe, the more powerful overall the Black Lantern, I forgot the character, becomes and every single Black Lantern user also becomes. Um, they don't. Re they don't really have a. They can't really shoot uh, emotional energies of death. They sort of just attack you, and uh, death ray. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no death ray. They sort of just their 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 special ability is just to raise the dead, and whoever they consume also um, takes a, gets a black lantern ring, um, and then the white lantern represents life, and as you know, uh, white is the combination of every every single color. Um, which means white is can use every single emotion of the seven that you see on screen. Rage, avarice, fear, willpower, hope, compassion, and love. Oh, uh, Kat also said, Yeah, me, the fuck. Lol, I love you very platonically, Neil. All right. In all caps. All right, okay, that makes me feel so much better, okay? All right, so, yeah. Can, all right, great, great. And White Lantern, you can... They can use any other power that um, any other lantern except black can use. Um, and they just become all-powerful, sort of. But there's only been recorded one actual white lantern in the universe, um, who was formerly a green lantern. Um, and, uh, yeah, their special power, um, not necessarily... Um, that the the user that the White Lantern ring uses, but the White Lantern itself is conscious and is is considered a li living being, is that they can revive the dead, um, not in the sense of like a zombie skeleton like the Black Lantern can, but in the sense that they bring them back to life, um, for a specific reason. It's like it's like they were brought back to life to to redo the mistakes or failures that they've had. Um, when they were living. Oh. So that's what the White Lantern is. And, uh, yeah, obviously they can shoot powerful beams of not necessarily life, but, you know, just beams. <laughs> um, and they can also use each individual power of the other lanterns, uh, if they wanted to. So, yeah. So, Neil, I'm going to hand this, this segue over to you. Life and death. Um, segways. Yeah, segways, because I know you want to do a little bit, so I'm going to leave the floor to you. And if you have um, any questions to bring up with us, yeah, just let know. us know. I don't want to. Okay. Um, as you know, it is May. It is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get sad now. What the fuck? No, it's okay, man. We're, we're here for you. Uh, me and Kemp <laughs> and Kat. You know, it's all good. Feel free to do whatever you want. If you need a break, if you need a breather, if you want me to take over for a little bit, just let me know. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I got you, man. So, as you know, it is me. It is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, like, 
I just want to say, like, because a friend actually um, started messaging me and he was asking me about, like, depression and suicide. And to be honest, I did develop suicidal and homicidal tendencies when I was in middle school. And, like, the advice that I have to offer him was, like, like, as if he were speaking to said person, um, you know, I know on, on, like, social media, my life looks fine and all, but it's, like, deep down inside, still don't feel like nobody, like, <sighs> fuck, it still doesn't feel like someone knows me. I still feel alone. But, you know, I know some people out there, like, think about killing themselves. Just go off a drive, look at the world, and just see how beautiful it is, man. Like, when I felt like shit one day, I went out, I drove to, I believe it was like Point Furman, and I was just staying out on the cliffs. And I, I was driving to all these, like, places with views of the world. And it, like, at that point, I just realized that this world is just too beautiful to be stained with my own blood, you know? Like, this world actually has so much to offer out there. Like, even in the darkest times, you can still find your light. Or, better yet, you could be that light. You could help other people find their way, you know? Uh, fuck! Tag out, tag out, tag Go. out, tag out. Um, Kemp, do you want to tag in or do you want me to do it? Nah, go for it, man. All right. Um, tag oh, in. Oh, just kidding. I'm back. Okay, hey. Tag out, tag out. Tag out, tag out. Okay. Um, so you know, if you're struggling with mental illness, you know, go out there, seek help. Um, talk to somebody. Talk to anybody. It's better than keeping it all bunched up to yourself. <laughs> You feel like you're gonna explode, you know. And while you're at it, you know, make the best of your life. Like, at the end of it, we're all gonna die someday. But while we're here, let's make the best of it and just be ready for whatever comes our way. You know, you know, we could always sit in a hole called depression or whatever mental illness you may have. Um, but, or we can you know, get out there and be the change that we want to see in the world. Uh, yeah. To be fair, you don't have to be ready either. No one's ever mm -hmm. ready for certain things. Yeah. I think sometimes, you know, shit just happens. Yeah, it's like, just take life at your own pace. Yep. Don't go, don't be like, oh, my friend's already getting pregnant and having a child. Oh, I gotta do that too. No, life isn't a fucking race. You go at your own pace, man. Okay? That's all I gotta say about that. You know, take care of yourself first before taking care of other people. Because in the end, the only person that's really gonna be there for you is yourself. Yes, there you go. You're right. That's, You're that's right. all I have. You're right. Nice, nice. Well, very well said, Neil. Very well said. Here's here's my uh, golf clap for you. All right. Yeah, my golf clap, man. Um, out of respect, okay. mad respect for that, my dude. Um, Thanks. Just Thanks, to add, babe. yeah, of course, babe. Um, just to add on to that, um, I. You know, I've also experienced depression, but not to this extreme degree. And I've also had conversations with people who were on the verge of that as well, of um, thinking, having suicidal thoughts. And um, surprisingly, uh, I'm not going to say who, but, it, you know, out of I've had I've, one of the podcast guests previously on previous podcasts uh, was was one of them. And. I'm very proud for the I'm very proud of them for the uh progress that they've made um ever since that incident. I'm not going to say for how for 
how long ago. But, you know, I'm very proud of that person. Um, I don't think that person's watching right now. But, uh, you know, it, it's all about giving it a little bit more time. And although for, you know, when when you hit rock bottom, there's there's nothing... Uh, there's nothing wor worse that can be rock bottom, and it can only get better from there. Um, that's how I see it. But if you do take that course of action and, uh, you know, happen to, uh, to do suicide, um, it's, it, it doesn't solve, it's a permanent, um, not even a solution, a permanent, it's a permanent solution to a temporary, temporary problem. problem. Correct. There you yeah. go. That's the line. And um, not only will it not prevent you from leaving rock bottom, obviously, but in my opinion, it'll bring others to your level, to the to the level that you don't want other people experiencing. And I think, you know, what Neil said earlier in the podcast: if you're not doing it for you, try to see it and try and do it for others. Um, if and it's, it might not even be someone you might have met yet or um, interacted with in any form of the way in this world, but just know that you do uh, whatever happens, what you do. Um, I hope that you have a positive impact, not only for yourself, but for those around you as well. And uh, yeah, um, just, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Kemp, anything, anything, anything? You know, whatever, whatever hole you're you're uh, stuck in, someone, someone out there is probably willing to give you a helping hand to get out of that hole. You know, like it, you might not even like know them, but that's what the those anonymous hotlines are for. You know, they'll they'll help you out if you're having a rough time and no one's gonna be there for you that you know of. And there you go. There you go. So, you guys have anything else to say about this uh this topic? Oh, Neil, this this is this is your segment after all. No? That's all I had to say. All right, there you go. So, for those watching, thank you for joining us on this podcast and although we did end on a little bit of a darker note than usual, I hope you learned something today um whether it's about our own emotions, how we view them as in terms of us three, as well, potentially even learn something about the Green Lantern universe, which I wanted to do. Um, just a little bit of a twist in there. Um, I, never, I never watched Green Lantern. Though. Me neither. I didn't watch that one. I heard it sucked anyways, but I read the comics. Well, not read comics. I read some of the comic episodes and issues and story arcs, and I liked it. So that's why I wanted to do that, this one. Um, So... Yeah, so if you if you're watching this wherever you are live on YouTube or if this somehow happens to be found years down the line, if you ever need any help in any situation, especially emotionally or mentally and and of course physically for whatever reason, you're feel feel free to contact one of us um on this current podcast because that's what we're about. We're about uh we're about looking out for each other, all right? Exactly, exactly. We're we, all here to help each other get through life. We do often make fun of each other, um, tease each other, and make jokes. But, you know, it's all out of love because we all care about each other. We're all friends here, We're practically family. And um, I think that's, that's, uh, yes. Uh, Kat says, love this, guys, but I need to drive home now. Hope to talk to you guys soon. Love you all platonically. Hearts. All right. Thanks for joining us, Kat. Thanks for tuning in with us and being part of this conversation. I appreciate you. And love you platonically as well. And uh, I'm say it like that. <laughs> hmm? Why can't you just love me? <laughs> Why can't you just Why? love me? I fucking love you, dog. <laughs> I love you, I platonically. Yeah. So, I mean, I love you back platonically. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love you as a friend. Dude, As a beloved friend. Blink twice if Ricky is holding you hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> you're so stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, the podcast. Like I said, 
Um, I know we, I made fun of this in one of my Overwatch videos, but uh, like I said, I am Neon Gaming, but in reality, I am Neon Gaming is not the same without you, and that's why my friends always made the joke, we are Neon Gaming. So I'm going to end it on that note for those watching on the live stream. Thank you for joining us once again. If you're watching on YouTube, like the podcast, feel free to reach out to me if you want to be a part, part, of, part of a podcast yourself. And uh, you guys, don't have any last words or comments to end this podcast off? I love y'all. Bye. Yeah, just look out for yourselves, guys. Yeah, I love you. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, say bye, bitch. Bye, bye. Oh, he didn't say bye. Oh, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, love you. Said bye. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm out. All right, yeah. love you guys. Take care of yourselves out there, and peace. I'll see you guys on the next podcast. Later.